Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dixie Fire has wiped out Greenville. Greenville, California is where the gold rush took place. And I know many of you have heard about the gold rush. Well, that area is gone. The picture that you're looking at is Greenville. I mean, look at this. I mean, charred up cars. I mean, the homes are completely gone. When you look, I mean, there is no home standing. Wow. This was one monster of a fire. You know, it, it always amazes me. And it's like every year these fires become more deadly and more massive. Greenville is, they said, damn near gone. It's gone. And wow, 676 square miles have been scorched, which is larger than New York City. So this came out on the AP August 6, 2021. Nothing safe as wildfire tears through California town. Ladies and gentlemen, they said the conditions are so dry. These fires will probably go on through the fall. There is no rain in sight. Yeah, I mean, this area, when they said the drought is really bad, they were not lying. They were not lying. These fires are unbelievable. So, uh, so far, they said there's no reports of injuries or deaths so far. But, you know, of course, they always got to go back and investigate these things. But the fire continues to threaten more than 10,000 homes as of Friday. And it is just 35% contained. Fire officials said the gust, the wind gust, were so strong on Thursday, they uprooted a tree and knocked over a garage. So the tree actually crashed into a garage. That's what it's really saying. Uh, this is going to be a long firefight. So this is what the uh, captain said, Mitch Matlow spokesperson for the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. Uh, about a two hour drive south, firefighters are gaining the upper hand on a fast moving river fire that broke out Wednesday near the Colfax and destroyed nearly 90 homes and other buildings. More than 5,000 people were ordered to evacu uh, evacuate in Placer and Nevada counties. Dale Huber walked into the fire zone Friday to check on his brother's home, which was reduced to rubble. It used to be a bunch of cool stuff and now it's just trash, Huber said. You can't fix it. We can tear it out and start over again or run away. I think he decides he wants to rebuild here. The three-week-old Dixie fire was 
one of the um, very active fire, <laughs> very active. So they said the large fire is burning in right now in the United States, 14 states got fires. Most of them are on the West Coast. And of course, the entire West Coast is going through a historic drought. So, you know, usually in, in time, the rain will show up and that will pretty much help extinguish a lot of these fires, but they cannot rely on the weather. They can't. You know, I was looking at an article before I came on here. There's fires going on in Russia. And they were saying for the first time, heavy smoke has reached the North Pole from all of the fires that are going on there. I mean, it's crazy out here. And, and so many places are burning everywhere. Even in Europe, there's fires over there. I don't know if you've seen what's going on in Greece. Yeah, they got their share of fires over there too. In fact, um, there's many going on just all across the world right now. Okay, so the, the smoke also blanketed uh, central California and western Nevada, causing the air quality to deteriorate to very unhealthy levels. By midday, the air quality index in Chester was about 20 miles northwest of Greenville. It shot up to 998, more than triple the amount where hazard levels begin, according to the U.S. Air Quality Index. In Susanville, Randy Robbins watched a quarter size piece of ash uh, as uh, the fire crept six miles from his home. It's crazy to think that the fire started 50 miles from our house easily, he said. You can't imagine how big it is. You look at the map and you're like, how is this possible? The heat waves and historic drought are tied to climate change that have made wildfires harder to fight in the American West. Scientists say the climate change has made the region much warmer, drier in the past 30 years, and will continue to make weather more extreme and wildfires more frequent and destructive. The fire was not far from the town of Paradise. We know that was completely engulfed. Whole town was lost in 2018, and I know many of you remember that, which was sparked by PG&E equipment that killed 85 people, making it the nation's deadliest U.S. fire in at least a century. Eva Gorman said she managed to grab photos off the wall of her favorite jewelry, um, her photos off the wall and her favorite jewelry, and important documents before fleeing. She told that her home, she was told that her home burnt down, but she is still waiting to see it with her own eyes to believe it's gone. Um, how could another California town be reduced to ashes? Well, that's what happened to Greenville. The air, y'all, do y'all realize Greenville is the area where the gold rush took place? This is the town where it happened. It's gone. It's completely gone. Wow. That's what I keep thinking. It happened again. It's unfathomable. Well, these things are going to happen every year. And this is not the only one for 2021. There'll be more coming. You know, it's really unfortunate, you know, with the drought and the heat waves that are going on, that makes it even tougher for them to even get through this. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Greenville is now completely gone. The place where the gold rush 
in the U.S. took place. Gone. All charred up and a bunch of ashes now. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.